Scott's next video is ridiculous. I mean, he's he's already made such gems as Obama is making kids gay. Yeah. And uh, video with ones the gay like the, bomb we just saw. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we saw know. We, we explained it. Yeah. It was, it was the gay bomb demystified. Well, this is a different. It, he was claiming it. You know, Obama was doing it through different means, but like hypnosis, subliminal, subliminal messages. Yeah, that through the water supply. Fluoride. All right, so here Fluoride is. Fluoride make you gay. Fluoride for the gays. It's Caden Cowger. Caden. What is forced labor? Okay. What is forced labor? Forced labor, labor is slavery, forced. is it not? Yeah. Is it not? So when the government is coming in and forcing Christians to work to promote sin, what is that? That is... Is what? slavery and oh, the yeah. that. wait? Oh. <laughs> when did that happen? Uh, that happen? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it would. Ha I guess you could say it, it. I guess by his standards, it, it's happened anywhere where there's anti-discrimination laws that would prevent businesses such as bakeries from saying they're not going to provide a cake for a gay wedding or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> plus, like... But I mean, like... Case, though, I want to make all the churches promote my pornography. I mean, the government's going to make them do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Porn you want to make church. a church? I want to pass out these flyers. What is it for? Oh, my God. Okay, a bakery, though, is not a church. It's just a fucking place that sells cakes. That's all it is. Huh? That's what they do <laughs> for a job, so making them do the job that they advertise themselves as doing okay. and actually in but fact TJ, do they is have a, not a form of slavery but they have a deeply held belief the government made bakers bake I have, it's slavery they have a deeply held belief so they weren't compensated for it no they were paid ah it's like oh so it's that paid slavery where you do your job that you already do no, that's the worst kind of slavery cuz it's so hard to see but TJ you're not understanding they have a deeply held belief. Oh, right. <laughs> Remember, if you have a deeply held belief, because they always say that way, I have a deeply held belief, so I can't do a this thing. A deeply day. held belief. There you go. How much can you get away with for deeply held beliefs, exactly? <laughs> we're we're <laughs> still figuring that out. You can, uh, apparently, you can discriminate because you have a deeply And actually get rich, too. Get rich. Remember the pizzeria in Indiana? Deeply held belief. Oh. Eight hundred and twenty thousand dollars for refusing to cater the gay wedding. It's like Tita's like, I think me and Tita were talking about it, like, damn, the drug and we hate gays now too. Send us money, <laughs> conservatives. Send us money, conservatives. Come on. Hey, people aren't allowed to watch this show. Yeah, stop watching if you're gay. Turn off this freaking show. Yeah. Send us money, conservatives, for hating the gays for this you. This guy, um, th this kid right here, he always says that being gay is unnatural. But I'm just looking at his hair, and his hair defies. The laws of nature. I think he's like just like trying to model himself after Steven Crowder. He's <laughs> yeah. like, one day I'll be Steven Crowder. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, never mind. I'll look it up. Sad. Steven Crowder was the guy we played earlier, and then this oh, is the bakery that guy. guy. Yep. Yeah. It's okay. He's you know he's not really worth knowing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did a study on this though, and they found that these anti-gay guys, like whenever they show them gay pornography. Like they hooked them up to probes, and they found that they're more <gasps> aroused by gay. <gasps> yeah, the more anti-gay somebody is, the more aroused Dude, they are. But by you gay can pornography. you can just look at him right now and like fill a thought bubble above his head with dicks, and it's true. Oh, I hate them gay so much. Mm, Don't yeah. ever look at my computer though; it has to be password protected. Hate the fags. <laughs> all the, is there, once again, even if you just look behind him, it. there's like snakes everywhere. What do you think that's a symbol? The for? Democratic Party has oh, a vivid history. Of embracing Gayness. slavery. Embrace the Democratic Party has a... Okay, come on. I guess he's going to try to tie this to, like, the Civil War era. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, let's go back, like, 160 years. The Democrats supported slavery, like, 160 years ago, and it was a totally different party. But they still in the, in the party of the South. But they still do support slavery, as proven by this, like, stuff going no, on No, he now. did not. He's proven nothing. That's slavery, Scotty. No, it's not. It's slavery. <laughs> Making them make and the that case. is exactly what it is doing once again by opposing the religious liberty bill in Arkansas and in Indiana.
Uh, multiple, many people from many different groups opposed the bills. It wasn't like it was just Democrats or progressives. There's even plenty of conservative people like this is stupid. No, so, Scotty. Don't don't fucking don't try to inject nuance in his narrative, buddy. I apologize. He's completely right about everything. Good. Good job. And all these companies that are coming out opposing religious liberty in these states. So they're private businesses. What hey, do you look, get? What what issue do you take with that? I stopped him on a cocksuck face. Oh. <laughs> so that that's a good moment right there. <laughs> he really did. Oh man. <laughs> Stopped him on a cucks of I believe face. I can suck. I believe I can suck. And then my asshole, you will fuck. <laughs> I dream about it every night and day. Take my virginity away. I mean, like, seriously, if you're, like, a teenage boy and this is the kind of shit that you're doing and thinking, then, like, what is going on in your life, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I didn't even... I didn't even... I mean, like, I can't even see myself giving a fuck about this at any point in my life, but especially not when I was a fucking teenager. Like, <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm, I'm a 15-year-old boy. I'm very concerned that the gays are getting, like, all these rights and shit in America. It's really pissing me off. No, TJ, they're, 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 that's what's on my mind. nothing against gays, TJ. It's about <laughs> religious liberty. This is a perfect screenshot. I know. <laughs> Hold on. I'll... We were just commenting on that. All right. Let's see. This is Ben's oh. favorite screenshot of all time. <laughs> oh, Ben. Ben. Ben's like, you better open your mouth a little you wider. Screenshot, wider. everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now we're back. Screen shit. Okay. We screenshotted him. All right. In the ass. Here you go, Ben. Oh, <laughs> Our pro... Slavery. Yeah. Christians yeah. are being enslaved yes. in this nation. Being yes. Christians are being enslaved. To promote unrighteous Christians are slaves, everybody. Did you know that, Ben? Did you know that Christians are being slave enslaved? Yeah, yeah. Dude, Ben was once the a war Christian. On, the, the war on Christmas. That was the first uh, sign. Yep. What's that was ben the cakes. <laughs> The yeah, the cakes and the pizza parlors and all that shit. Oh, dude, me and Ben were talking about this before. I'm like, Ben, why aren't you a Christian anymore? It's like, slavery, man. They said if you become an atheist, you know, slavery ends. Like, fuck it, I'm an atheist. Also, doesn't the Bible pretty much say that slavery is cool anyway? So Yeah, yeah. they're good with it. Biblical slavery is fine. We even talked to G-Men who said it was fine. Come yeah. on. So. Yep. I don't know what he's winning. And he's an about. expert. He always wins, TJ. If G Men, who always wins and always knows right about the Bible, says slavery is fine, it has to be fine. Of course. It's nuts. In Ephesians 5 11, oh, it God. states Amen. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Meaning not to take part in promoting sin, in promoting what is unrighteous and promoting what God is against. So if Amen. you are a Christian baker, the Bible says not to bake a cake in support Woo! of sin. Not Hell to yeah. Don't bake that cake. <laughs> Take a stand cake. against those cakes. Fuck that cake. <laughs> Fuck that cake. 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 <laughs> this is America, god damn it! What's wrong with you, TJ? This is motherfucking America. What's wrong with you, buddy? <laughs> this kid just needs to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. No, he spends too much time in his little recording studio. No, here. no, he just needs to go to the, the rest area or the truck stop and, you know, do the little, oh, I'm tapping my foot in the next stall and, you know. <laughs> And then he'll be fine, you know. They were better at airports. He'll he'll be so much more relaxed in his next video. He'll just be like, you know, all that bullshit I was talking before. I was right. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Never mind, guys. I got a good solid ass fucking, and now I'm okay. <laughs> now I'm an okay bloke. And that is exactly what these bakers are being forced. To do. That is exactly what these bakers are being forced to do. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to the anger in my nasally voice. Where Christians are being recognized 
as second class citizens. Fuck! Ah! Gay marriage was never an important issue. So gays it was important are basically like... To win for the LGBT community. So gays are like the a... ones in true power, and the Christians are like this like super oppressed minority. In a world where yeah. gays control everything. Everything's good looking. All of the airports look nice and smell good. <laughs> All of the bakeries are super high end. I mean, these guys, like these arguments that these guys are making, they seriously need to take a trip to West Hollywood because it's just all shit in LA. And then you get to West Hollywood and it's super nice because it's where all the gays live. <laughs> like we can, so we can hope that the gays take over. Gays know how to run shit, motherfucker. <laughs> Gay he, people should just be in charge of everything. But he just said that the Christians are second-class citizens, and then he's like, well, gay marriage is not an issue. Like, gays don't need marriage. They're second-class citizens. We're the ones who are being... Tra it's like, I don't understand these people's logic loops. Circular logic. It's not even circular. It's actually square logic. Square logic. <laughs> the logic well, of squares. They all have victim complexes, too. Yes. I'm such a victim. Like we're slaves and we're second class citizens. It's not like they're the ones being like, like. It's like no, you're not. You're so fucking absurd. They weren't being thrown. <laughs> this guy wasn't ever thrown to a lion. You know, I mean, wasn't in the Colosseum. Like throw this Christian to a lion. You know, they're not really being persecuted in the same way. It reminds me of like the Tumblr feminist. Like, oh my god, someone stared at my boobs today. I'm oppressed. Society <laughs> just hates me. Ah! Not only an object. <laughs> Uh. Small thing. <laughs> if you listen to Mac Alamore's song, Same <clears throat> Love, you'll hear one of the lines in the song says that a certificate isn't going to solve it all, or ain't going to solve it all, because he has bad vocabulary like that. <laughs> ain't going to solve it all, but it, it is a curse word good place to start. It is a good place it's to a curse start. Curse word good place to start. It was never in the agenda to just get same-sex marriage. <clears throat> they want to get what they define as gay rights implemented in the United States of no. America. And no. Global gay domination. Oh humans my God. With rights? We're going to give humans rights. They want to round up all the straight people and put them in concentration You'll be branded camps. with an S for straight. Oh! <laughs> The FEMA oh, straight oh. camps. What are you, some kind of heterosexual? Yes. Uh, yes, I am. Oh. Brand him quickly. Get the shackles. <laughs> you'll, you'll be forced to work in the mines. We'll have to rape the straight out of him. <laughs> Caden's like, please let it happen. Please. Oh my please. Oh my God, all my fantasies coming true. Caden's like, and then one day the gays are just gonna rape us all, oh, all day, oh, all day, and we'll have no choice. It'll be no a say. massive gay orgy, oh. and there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> oh, it makes me shiver. It makes my spine tingle. The interesting thing about gay rights is that they're not even rights. Yeah. They're not defined as being such under any federal document. Uh -huh. Yet they are given such notoriety. Okay. Huh. Everyone has the right to marry in this nation. Okay. The opposite sex. Oh! 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 oh come on, that's been oh, that's so over. Bad done. arguments. One oh one. Uh, the 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 opposite sex there is everyone. Uh, well, you know. Yeah, everyone has the right to walk upstairs. Why is this wheelchair person complaining? Yeah. <laughs> he has every bit the same right to walk up those stairs. Does he not have legs? Yeah. Could he not use them to walk up the stairs? Well, no, he can't. Well, that's his problem. Oh. Well, I don't understand why I hear all these handicap rights. How come they get their special ramps? Ah, it's pissing me off. Doesn't matter if you're gay, doesn't matter if you're straight. When marriage is defined as being between one man and one woman, that right is not being denied to anyone. Therefore, that privilege is not being denied, making it constitutional. Reality does Without not exist! Or find it a <laughs> So no. you can get mad. The argument, Rowdy, does not exist. So, I mean, like, can we just like? I mean, is he too young for me to say that he's like the worst person ever? I uh, I don't know. You know, he's said stuff that that are. 
he said things that have been so fucked up that even Bill Maher and Jank Uger have responded to him in the past. Look how like oh. just look at his face. Like he looks like a fucking like he's like a like a young Nazi or something. He's a smarmy little twat. Like he's just like looks he like is. that's like the face you see as you're being like pushed into the death camp, you know? Just look at him. Like, I'm he following just, others. It's just like this look of like utter contempt and just meanness. And there's not like a single like speck of kindness anywhere in his speech or features. He's just like this evil fucking hate filled piece of goddamn human refuge. <laughs> like what what fucking good is this motherfucker? What a useless piece of fucking crap. And he's just talking all this sanctimonious shit like he's the good guy when he's just so obviously fucking pure evil from fucking his ugly exterior right down to his shitty little black core. Fuck this motherfucker. Tell us how you really feel about him, TJ. I think he's a but jerk. But especially, like, guys like this, like, we, you know, like, making fun of, of Wiley, whiny. Like, after I see guys like this, I'm like, then I feel bad about that, because I'm like, no, this guy is the guy that I want to beat the shit right. out of. Sorry, yeah, Ryan Wiley. <laughs> Ryan Wiley, you look, like, very favorable compared to this yeah. fuck. I can at least say, like, you know, Ryan, as bad as you are, Dude. at least you're not this. Ryan Wiley needs to go befriend this guy. People be like, man, Ryan Wiley sucks. Meet my buddy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, then meet my buddy Caden. Then it's like 20 minutes later, man, Ryan, man, Ryan, 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 at? Ryan, come back over here, man. Ryan is a nice we guy. We miss you. Too bad he's got that douchebag friend Caden. Ryan by himself would be pretty nice. <laughs> Sorry, guys, gotta bring Caden. He's spe he's like you know it's like special education. Oh, I get it. Yeah, he's got like uh, perpetual douchebag syndrome. It's very serious. Incurable. Illness. Sorry. As being that who knows who knows because the interpretation of the Constitution today <coughs> is really the relay of our justices political opinions <coughs> it has absolutely nothing to do with the United States Constitution okay and he's saying that, say this being a legal constitutional law expert which he is obviously yeah plus he's trying to treat the Constitution like it's some kind of like you know, written in stone kind of shit when it's clear the founders intended it for it to be something that was amenable to the change of time. Poppycock. Yeah. Well, especially because, you know, they apply their, their biblical stuff to it. So, I, you know, it's that's one of my favorite things, all these, <clears throat> like, libertarian, you know, pro-constitution types. And they go, well, but marriage is between a man and a woman. And it's like, well, no, your Bible says that. Your constitution doesn't say that. Right. It's, it's all the same to them. God wrote both of them. Hey, Moses was <laughs> one of our founding fathers, guys. Remember? Yeah. The hand of God came. And then God created America. 